Hello everyone and welcome back to The Cozy Chair, a reading channel for kids. I am so glad that you all are here. Now I love spring. I love spring. I love Easter. The thing I love the most is in spring the sun comes out and I feel so much happier when the sun comes out. So I am wearing my <gasps> Hello Sunshine shirt. I love this shirt because it makes me feel so happy and cheerful. And Maker Valley and Stately Type make the best t-shirts. So check out their links below and go see some of their fun, bright, colorful shirts. Well, today we're going to read another Easter book. And today it is <gasps> Egg Day. Isn't this a silly story? This is going to teach us a little bit about what animals lay eggs and what animals don't lay eggs. Did you know that not all animals lay eggs? Did you know that some animals do lay eggs? Well, whether you knew it or not, you're going to learn it here in this book called Egg Day. Now this is by Joyce Dunbar and Jane Cabrera. And this book is, is published by Sandy Creek. So here we go. I like this book because I like the illustrations are fun and the brush strokes whoever painted this let's see that would be Jane Cabrera she used big strokes of paint and it's really fun to paint that way Dora the duck said to Pugs and the pig tomorrow is egg day what's egg day asked Pogson what a name for a pig Pogson we're having the a best egg competition said Dora. But what can I bring? asked Pogson. A pig egg, said Dora, and she waddled over to tell Humphrey, the horse. Hmm. A pig egg? Hmm. Tomorrow is egg day, said Dora. What's egg day? asked Humphrey. We are having a best egg competition, said Dora. But what can I bring? said Humphrey. A horse egg, said Dora. And she waddled over to tell Gideon, the goat. Hmm, a horse egg? Tomorrow is egg day, said Dora. What's egg day, asked Gideon. We are having a best egg competition, said Dora. What can I bring, asked the Gideon. A goat egg, said Dora. And she waddled back to her nest. Hmm, a goat egg? Where will I get a pig egg? Pogs and the pig asked Humphrey the horse. Where will I get a horse egg? Humphrey the horse asked Gideon the goat. Where will I get a goat egg? Gideon the goat asked himself. We must all try to lay one, said Pogson. So they did try. Quink, 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 went Pogson, trying to lay a pig egg. <laughs> went Humphrey, trying to lay a horse egg. Bah! went Gideon, trying to lay a goat egg. Do you think that's going to work? I don't think so. They made a truly dreadful noise. Hetty Hen came back to see what the matter was. What's all the fuss, she said. It's egg day tomorrow, said Pogson. I'm trying to lay a pig egg. But pigs don't lay eggs, said Hetty. Pigs have piglets, and you're not even a sow. And I'm trying to lay a horse egg, said Humphrey. But horses don't lay eggs, said Hetty. Horses have foals, and you're not even a mare. And I'm trying to lay a goat egg, said Gideon. But goats don't lay eggs, said Hetty. Goats have kids, and you're a billy goat, not a nanny goat. But Dora says, it's egg day tomorrow, says Pigson. What's egg day, asked Hetty. We are having a best egg competition, said Pogson, and we all have to take an egg. Wait here a moment, said Hetty, and I'll see what I can find in my coop. Now, does Hetty the hen lay eggs? You betcha, she sure does. Hetty came back with three eggs. Here's one for you, she said to Pogson. Give it a short curly tail and it will look like a pig egg. Here's one for you, Humphrey, said Hetty. Give it a hairy brown mane and it will look like a horse egg. 
What about me? said Gideon. Here's one for you, Gideon. Give it a curved pair of horns, and it will look like a goat egg, said Hetty. So they all went away with their eggs. Hmm. Does this look like a fun thing for them to do? It looks like a fun thing to decorate eggs, doesn't it? In the morning, they met up again. Hetty was last to arrive. Happy egg day, they said to one another, proudly showing off their eggs. Hetty seemed the proudest of all as she showed them a beautiful, smooth, speckled egg. I laid this especially, she clucked. Where's Dora? Hmm, where's Dora? They're going to go find her. Let's go and find Dora, said Humphrey, and they went along to the hayloft where Dora had made her nest. Dora, Dora, called Pogson. It's egg day today. Come and see my pig egg. My pig egg has a short curly tail, and my horse egg has hair, hairy brown mane, called Humphrey, and my goat egg has curved pair of horns, called Gideon, and my hen egg is smooth with brown speckles, called Hetty. There was silence for a while. Then Dora started to quack. I've changed my mind, said Dora. It isn't egg day anymore. Well, what day is it? asked Pogson. It's duckling day, Dora quacked proudly. And, and she lifted up her wings so that the animals could peep underneath. Well, you can guess who had the best duckling. She didn't have an egg to show, did she? Because the egg had cracked open and a duckling had come out. What did you think about that silly story? Did you know that those animals, these animals, do lay eggs? And of course, these animals do not. Now this Easter, are you going to make eggs? Are you going to decorate them or dye them colors? My favorite thing to do when I was little was to get take the egg and use the white crayon. And I wrote on it all over the white crayon and then I dunked it in the color. And when I pulled it out, it was colored everywhere except where I had used my white crayon. Well, I hope that you enjoyed listening to Egg Day today and that you have a fun Easter and come right back because we are going to read Happy Easter next time. So I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.